Hi, welcome to the channel. This is the first part of phone privacy. Being a smartphone user, do you have this question? How safe is my phone? Of course, you have a password lock on your phone, but that is effective only for the people around you. Whereas if you use internet, it creates an open window. As much you can see the world through it, people around the world can also possibly access your phone, which means your phone is not 100% safe. But you can make it more reliable by educating yourself about your phone and minimizing the risk factors. This is like a must watch video, so watch till the end of the video at least once and extend your support by subscribing and sharing it. So let's get it started. Before getting to the topic, I want to tell you something. Avoid clicking on unnecessary links that comes in your messages and also don't install any applications without verifying them. Because these things can infect your phone with the malware and make your private data public. For example, you call a plumber to fix the water leakage in your kitchen. Of course, you will have to give him access to your kitchen to do the job. But you won't be giving access to any other room or your personal belongings, right? Similarly, when you are installing an app, it requires your permissions to access several features on your phone to do the job. Once you give access, now they get full control over those features. For example, you give access to the camera. Now the app can turn on the camera, switch between front and back camera, zoom in, zoom out, etc with or sometimes even without your knowledge. Now this is why you are not supposed to install apps from unreliable sources because there are many chances for your phone to be misused. This means when you are thinking nothing is happening on your phone, there might be some activity that is happening on your phone which you won't even know. This is where it becomes a privacy issue. But one good thing, you can deny or grant access for any apps anytime. So what are the features an app can access on your phone? You can check it out in the privacy manager. If you click on a particular feature, you get to see all the apps which are using that feature. Or if you want to check out all the permissions for a particular app, then go to the app settings and check it. This means whether you're using the app or not, you're giving permission for the app to access the feature anytime it wants. This is one of the safest option. Whenever you're using the app, it'll automatically grant permission and whenever you're closing the app, it'll automatically deny the permission. This is again a safer option. Whenever the app wants to access the feature, it's going to ask you for permission each and every time. If you choose this option, you're completely denying access for the feature all the time. This option is applicable only for the files feature, which means the app will access only its own files and not any other files or folders on your storage. I'll show you a demo on how to control app permissions. For this purpose, I'm using WhatsApp. And let's take a scenario where I want to use WhatsApp only for text messaging and voice calls and not for video calls or media sharing. As you can see, other than voice calls and text messages, I was not able to do anything on WhatsApp. This is how you control the app permissions for any app. This is more powerful than the app permissions because it can change the system setting itself, like controlling Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, date and time, etc. This option will be available only for the native apps from Android or your phone provider. In case if you get to see this option in any third party applications, then turn it off. Use Play Protect to scan all your present apps and keep your phone safe.
thank you so much for watching the video i hope it was helpful if you find the video informative give it a like subscribe and share it to others until we see in the next video take care bye bye